Hi, Michael. Hello. How are I'm, you? I'm fine. How are you? Ah, not too bad. So, today's topic is about some people's inventions and, uh, you know, what they've done for society because they probably shape society one way or another because without them, maybe we wouldn't have a lot of things that we do have today. Okay, I'll get your cat uh, again. Yeah, ch 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 yeah, he he will quiet. Ch ch one. Chester. <laughs> okay. he, also, he also wants to speak English, right? Yeah, I, honestly, I I think he's a student now. Really, I mean, uh, he thinks I understand him, but unfortunately, I, I don't understand kitty language. Uh, yeah. I try to find a tutor for it, but uh, you can't find one. So yeah. I'm waiting for someone to teach kitty talk. <laughs> All right. Hello, hello there. How are you? Hmm. I'm fine. Thanks. Hello. What is you? your name? I can't. Uh, I can't read uh, Cyrillic really too good. Uh, Vitali. 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 Nice to meet you. Where are you from, Vitali? I'm from Russia, Zhelyznovodsk. Mm, where Where is this? I never heard of it. <laughs> Caucasus Mineral Waters. Minerals. Okay. You know? Caucasus. No. What is this? <laughs> mountains. <laughs> On the south, mountains. Uh, mountains in the south. Ch Chechnya. Do you know? Oh, Chechnya. Chechnya, I know. It's not far from there. <laughs> no, it's not far from, from there because Russia is a big country. <laughs> yes. It's almost the size of the world if you look at it, right? So uh, it's it's hard to know. Where, there's so many cities, right? Uh, so today's topic is is about uh, people and their and their inventions. So we're going to talk about some some inventions now. Uh, and we're actually going to go through a list because without those today, well, maybe we would have a lot of technology. So chewing gum. Do you know what chewing gum is? Желательно uh, резинка. Yeah, I know. So, when, when did chewing gum come into effect into Ukraine? When did you first hear about it? Chewing gum. <laughs> you know what it is, chewing gum? Yes, I know, chewing gum. Uh, from bubble gum, chewing gum, yes. Yeah, it's still gum. Right? It's, it's gum, gum is gum. But when did it, Ivan, well, I mean anyone, when did you first hear about Got when was it available in in the Eastern Europe? Mm. You know when was the first time you seen it in the supermarket? Do you remember? I I remember it was uh, I was uh, very young I I don't I was uh, like uh, uh, five seven years old something like this when I when I saw the first time the chewing gum. Okay, so it, it's a, it was invented by Thomas Adams, right? One of those another American in, in, in inventors. So uh, actually, there's a huge factory in Canada too that produces. There's a monopoly that produces uh, for his factories. So I, I, personally, I I hate gum. I wish it was something that was never invented. What do you feel? <laughs> Why? Why? Because it's bad for you. Why it's bad? Because there's a lot of sugar in it. As there are a lot of gum without sugar. <laughs> Believe me, if, if there's aspartame in it, that's still not good for you. Hi, Tatiana. Hi. Hello, hello. Hello, uh, Tatiana. Sometimes uh, I've I've heard that uh, for uh, especially for women, is good to chew chewing gum because it uh, makes your muscles stronger and you look more younger. <laughs> your jaws? <laughs> uh, yeah, but I uh, don't like chewing gum. I I know that uh, when you you have to chew the gum after you eat something because it uh, helps the digestion. Okay, I, n I never heard that, but I, I know they put a lot of stuff. Look at the ingredients on bubble gum. It, the stuff is in a babushka factory, a, a scientist laboratory. I don't think it's good for you. I mean, some people, 
Uh, you're not supposed to eat gum, too. It doesn't digest. But, hey, it was by Thomas Adams as well. So, everyone has a cell phone, right? Sure. Everyone has a cell phone. What came before the cell phone? What came before the cell phone? Home what? telephone. Yes, the landline. Home line. Home line. Home line. When did when did you? Well, I guess the phone line has in in, in the in the USSR times, uh, it, it was available for many 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 years. I I don't know. When did uh, the telephone come out in the USSR? Does anyone remember? No. Nobody After knows. The October Revolution. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or maybe before. 1917 or 1916. Okay. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. In the USSR. Well, it was invented Alexander Graham Bell. Bell. Yes. Bell. Well, we have Bell Canada, Bell in America, right? So, I mean, he was a Canadian. What did you? Huh? Well, I guess the phone line has in, 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 the, in the USSR times. Uh, it, it was available for many, many. many I hear years. myself. I don't know. When did the, the telephone come out? Hello. 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 I don't know. Hello. 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 So think about the things. If we never had a phone, how do how would we be communicating with people? By we never had Alexander Graham Bell. By letters, maybe. By le that's a, that would keep Babushka at the post very busy. Then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There was a commercial actually on the Canadian show how they communicating through the ocean all the way to the other side, like and the kid was like, "You communicated with someone like that? Yeah." So. That was that was interesting. Now we take the phone for an an advantage of the phone. I mean, pretty much everyone in Ukraine now has a cell phone, don't they? Yeah. Yes. It's cheap. I mean, uh, I don't know. What What do you think will happen after the cell phone? Do you think what kind of new communication will there be that is not based on cellular technology? Does anyone have any ideas? I think that it's gonna be free. Uh, our communication will be free. It comes to this, you know. Now we are talking for free, right? Uh, we're gonna have, we are have, we have Skype. We are, we will talk for free. So I think that the communication between people in future will be uh, uh, for no charge. For no charge. Well, we do that because it uses the internet, right? So internet. I mean, bandwidth is 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 cheap. It wasn't always cheap before. It was yeah. really expensive. Right? Crayons. When you, you were a kid, anyone, when they were a ki when you were a kid, did you use crayons? Could you write this word? Yeah, yourself? I will. Yeah, mm. I will. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Like pencil. No, that's pencil crayons. There's a difference. <laughs> P crayons are those thick ones that kids used to write on the wall with. Crayola. Oh. Does anyone... Joke. Chalk? Piece of chalk? Chalk. 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 Like, like chalk. It's not chalk. I don't know what it is. I'm not a scientist. It's like, uh, cr does everyone know the company Crayola? Yes. Yeah, Crayola, I think, was the first who invented it. So the co-inventor was Edward Binney. All right, he, again, another American name. Americans, I guess, invented a lot of the stuff. Crayola crayon. So, I mean, what do you think? Do you think... Crayons helped us be artistic when we were when we were young. What did we use before crayons? I'm thinking chalk. Does everyone know what chalk is? Yes. yes. I said we know chalk, chalk, and you say no. <laughs> Sorry. I said chalk. You said chalk. No. Yes, chalk. Yeah. But what, what's the, Michael, what's the difference between crayon and chalk? Chalk is more like a powder base. Okay. Okay. Crayons are more, I think, oil-based because they're, they're more oil. I don't even know what they're made of, to be honest with you. I never, I actually, I did, you know, uh, how it's made. So, when did you, when did you first use uh, crayons? Anyone? Can anyone tell us, Tetrana? Anyone? When did you first start using crayons? Do you remember? 
1918 uh, years, maybe. 1980. Mm -hmm. Now, you know, like they, they had crayons with lead in them, and I remember, you know, that's not good because children, everyone knows what lead is. Uh, do, 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 lead. You know, it's the stuff that you find in pencil, so kids were playing with that. And uh, it wasn't, uh, it was, it's bad for your, your health. Uh, so that was Edward Binney. What about commercialized food? I mean, when I say commercialized food, what do you think I'm, uh, what am I talking about? What do you think? What commercial? Commercialized food. Fast food? No. Commercialized? Someone. Someone speak. Someone tell me what they think. There's two Tetanas, right? I think. Is it? Yeah. Is it the same? Yeah, the same. I'm just looking at the name here. No idea. I'm saying commercialized. What does commercialized mean? Mm -hmm. Maybe something like franchising. No? Like yeah. a restaurant. Like a restaurant. Mass market. Mass market. Oh, yes, no, like franchising. Yeah. yeah, well, when I think of fr franchise, I'm thinking franchise restaurant or something like that, right? So, anyone take a guess when I'm talking about commercialized food? Nobody knows. Nobody knows. Nobody. Nobody knows. Okay, fine. No, Maybe spi spicy. Spicy is not. Oh no 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 no. Frozen food. Oh, frozen. How do preparation of the frozen food? It's very common in America. You know, like, you know, you don't need to make anything. Just put it in the microwave and for five minutes you got your meal. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yes, we yes. know. <laughs> now we know. <laughs> and how, how much of this do you see in the market? How much do you see this in the supermarket? I, I really, in Ukraine, I don't see it as uh, like in, the, in, in North America. I think quite a lot in Ukraine. <laughs> Ukraine, maybe some pizzas, carne. I don't know if that's even that's. I guess that is commercialized food, but I mean, in in America, it's it's bad. It's it's really really because there's too much of it. People don't need to cook anymore. So that was made, yeah. Uh, we have like uh, some uh, sea products, uh, vegetable. Uh, yes. Uh, vegetables and uh, it's quite uh, popular in our country especially I think uh, in uh, big cities now I know but you know again and this is an American invention right mm -hmm. and I think it does more harm for you because I think it's loaded with a bunch of garbage in there they bring all this stuff to other countries and to make people sick so they die at an early age I'm thinking I, that's what I'm thinking you know because uh, this kind of food. sorry we don't, uh, I, for example, don't eat this kind of food. So who eats this type of food then? Because everyone tells me they don't eat this type of food. <laughs> I eat only fresh food. Me too. <laughs> From babushka. Babushka eat. <laughs> babushka makes fresh food. She doesn't believe in commercial stuff. <laughs> when was the last time you saw a babushka at McDonald's? McDonald's, McDonald's. Uh huh. So Clarence Birdseed made it was commercial frozen food. Remember, you don't have to prepare it; it's prepared for you. That's when America started becoming lazy. Okay, who? Everyone knows what a everyone knows what a marshutka bus is, correct? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Air conditioning. How how common is air conditioning in Ukraine? Because on a Mashutka bus there is no air conditioning. Oh, yes, we have windows. <laughs> windows? That's not air conditioning. No, no. In That's my town there are a lot of Mashutka conditioner. Where? Nalchik. Not in Kiev. North, no, North Caucasus region near uh, min mineral water. If you know this region, <laughs> no, I, I don't. No. I, I want a, I want a marshutka with air conditioning. 
Maybe Marshutka uh, with air conditioning exists only between uh, between cities. For example, Kiev, Poltava, Kiev, Kharkiv, or something like this. I know, but when you're on the tramway, tram, and there's twenty, there's hundreds of people, or maybe thirty or forty people on there, and Babushka is is sweating like this, and she's gonna fall down. And there's no air conditioning. You want to do something, you know? Especially it's been hot. Over the last couple of weeks, besides the rain, uh, Ukrainian reality. <laughs> Ukraine. <laughs> you, you couldn't uh, do something <laughs> to help uh, help yourself. <laughs> what What would we do without air conditioning? Uh, uh, could Could you repeat? What would we do without air conditioning? My room, for example, my flat without air conditioned. I have a big, huge fir tree, pine tree, in front of my house, and it's like natural air condition. They say air conditioning is not good for you. They, 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 I heard something about that, you know, like uh, from the the Freon or something like that, the refrigerant. It's not, it's not good for you to breathe in that stuff. Yes, it's maybe asthma. Asthma, people who have asthma. Right. And uh, the Mashutka bus driver, sometimes he opens up the, the doors, and when he's driving, he calls that air conditioning too. <laughs> but I couldn't live without air conditioning. What about you guys? Well, I, I have to have it. You guys? I also don't have an air condition in my flat. <laughs> so me, it's just me like the style of life. <laughs> But wait cold a minute, if you, if you live, oh, sorry, continue. It's quite cold, it's quite cold summer <laughs> we have now. What's the temperature there? Mm, about 18, 16 degrees. In the daytime? Yeah. No, no. Okay, what about a week ago? Mm, 20, 25. Mm. When it's raining, it's raining now. Okay. Yeah, no, there's... Italy. Huh? Where do you live? Jelisnovsk. Kafkask oh. mineral wood. It's just like my name. Magic period. It's quite cold. It's quite cold here now. Oh, thank you. Very cold summer. We don't need air conditioning now. <laughs> You're lucky. Very lucky. But if if you live, uh, like, let me get this straight though. But if you live in an apartment, it's usually cool there because of the uh, the concrete or the cement too. Yes. Because in a house, like in Canada, it's more brick. And for some reason, the windows absorb more more of the heat. I'm thinking. But like, yeah, in, in apartments in Kiev, that cement it, it's cold. It's usually really really cold. Now I don't need an air conditioning too. Uh, but in a house, I think it's if you, if you have a house and it's not cement, you need a you need air conditioning. We, and it was made by a central air or no, not central air conditioning was made by Willis Carrier. He invented Carrier air conditioners. So if anyone did any has anyone heard of Carrier before? No. 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 It's not common here. You guys probably heard about LG. Sorry. Creon? No, Carrier. It is the manufacturer and it's named after the inventor of the air conditioning. Who uses scotch tape here? Does anyone know what scotch tape is? Everybody knows. Everybody knows. Yes. I hope so. Tetrana, how, how often do you use scotch tape? What do you, what do you use it for? You must use it for something. Yeah. Which one, Tatiana? <laughs> Which <A> any? <laughs> <laughs> Often, uh, especially at work, or sometimes uh, you need uh, a scotch to just so to connect some pieces of papers. So I think ah, so, some ripped papers, maybe. <laughs> yeah, like glue. <laughs> glue is sticky. Glue is too sticky. No, if I want, for example, to glue my box, I can use uh, uh, bam, 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 uh, what do you say? What is it? Scotch tape. 
the same, like in Russia, Scotch. I think it's the same. I don't know. It was invented. The guy was named Richard Drew, and he worked at 3M. So the, the manufacturer of 3M, so they invented a lot of stuff. And what about computer mouse? I mean, everyone still uses a mouse, no? I don't use. Oh my God! You don't use. A mouse? No, I need because uh, now I'm. Uh, my laptop on my knees, and uh, I use. I needn't use mouse. But think about it. If you never had a, so you're using your touchpad. Yeah. So if we never had a mouse, I don't think we would have a touchpad. Do you know? In English, touchpad. Touchpad. H. Touchpad. Touchpad. Who? Touchpad. Yeah. Touchpad. Who uses a mouse though? Here, anyone? I. No. I. I prefer. I prefer a mouse. Why do you prefer a mouse? Look, I got a nice, nice little mousey here. Uh, Michael, I have uh, such a uh, mouse like you. <laughs> My mouse is bigger than your mouse. <laughs> <laughs> So why is a mouse better than a touchpad? I, I, I'll give my reason later, but I want to hear some people's reasons. It's more convenient. It's more comfortable. Okay. Com comfortable. Comfortable, yeah. I find my finger, you know, all day like this, touch that, it's getting, it gets sore after a while. And does anyone use a wired mouse still? Or are they using wireless? Wireless. I have wireless one. Yeah, I, I I remember the days of getting the wire uh, caught in something. So it was invented by Douglas C. Engelbart. Okay, so again, you know, this was during the, the Xerox days. Television. Who still watches television? Who still has a picture tube TV? I don't watch TV. Why not? Everyone watches TV. No, I don't watch because I think that it's a waste of time to watch TV. Yeah. It's better to improve same. yourself. But Read everybody TV. watched TV in the day. <laughs> okay, I don't watch. Why not me? <laughs> yeah. Sometimes when I have free time, I can watch maybe some musical channels, especially when you are doing housework and it's very convenient that it's like a radio. <laughs> Like a radio, sure. I use computer, oh, like radio, like television, like everything. But I think with the TV, some things like you can't make a decision, so the TV makes a decision for you. You know what I mean? Sometimes you don't know what you want to watch. And then you end up watching a Soviet movie that's very sad. <laughs> There's always a Soviet movie where it's like life back in the day, but some of those movies are actually better than some Americans, too. Uh, but I don't know. I think the TV is still the king. What do you guys think? Yeah, it influences us a lot, but, you know, you have to refrain from it because you have to think uh, with your own head. Yeah, but Not, people uh, still waste their time. Yeah, that be that's because they have a lot of time. <laughs> I mean, how many people have used YouTube now to replace their television? Come on, someone who watches YouTube uh, TV shows on YouTube. Anybody? No? I, um, I'm watching. What are you watching? Yeah, you know, I, I watch uh, different kind of, uh, like, for example, comedy clubs sometimes. Not very often, but sometimes. If I want to, uh, if I как сказать вспомнить? Remember. Remember. Remember это запомнить, наверное, запомнить, да? Или remember это вспомнить? Recall. Recall. Ah, да, recall. If I want to, uh, if I recall some uh, uh, funny situation and some uh, in comedy club, I'm I'm, I'm uh, turning on uh, YouTube and uh, watch it. So. Watch. Yeah, I think it's okay to watch YouTube. Uh, yeah. Well, what about the news? I mean, you know, sometimes you can't believe everything you read, you hear on the news. You know, that can be an issue for some people. 
Who watches the news now on the internet versus their TV? I don't. I, I read news. Don't watch. Oh, you okay? You 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 don't watch. All right. Uh, for some people, I guess it's more convenient. But the problem is, is before in the day, uh, you only heard stuff based on what you watch. Now we're in a society where you can find out information through other ways. So maybe that's better. The be the better side of internet versus regular television. I don't know. But in the future, it is are people? What do you think? You do you think? Television will cease and desist. It it won't be made anymore. Or do you think people in in Ukraine and Russia will still be buying televisions? It depends on the period of time. I think that maybe in 50 years, people, um, especially in Ukraine and Russia, they will still uh, buy uh, some TV, and it. Um, no, especially elder people, pensioners, because they don't have internet and they can't use computers. Yeah. Mary, are you there? Can you hear me? Yes, I'm here. Ah, sorry, I, I didn't catch you there. So, what do you think? I mean, uh, it, do you have a television? Mary, Mary. for you. Question for you. Um. I don't watch uh, TV. I'm. I use internet. You use the internet. Yes. <laughs> so I, I'm just thinking. I mean, who are these people buying 3D televisions? You know, because uh, I don't know. I see a lot of 3D televisions being sold now. So it's just a, a fad, you know, you had the picture tube, then you had plasma, then LCD, and the big projector. I, I'm, I'm waiting I'm waiting for something, you know, even bigger. So it was, the TV was invented by Filio T. Barnesworth. And actually, I remember reading something about, you know, him creating uh, something based on from the picture tube. Alright. Uh, who, in the Soviet days, uh, what did they use for dolls? Did girls play with dolls it, 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 back in the uh, the Soviet days? Did you have dolls? Sure. Yeah. Yes. A lot of dolls, <laughs> and even speaking dolls we have. <laughs> like yeah, no, not no. speaking, but cry, crying dolls here. Yeah. Oh no, no, no. Who wants crying dolls? <laughs> but you never had Barbie, did you? No, I didn't. Yes, in Soviet Union, yes. When, when was Barbie popular? When did that come out? Because I, I see it in the store now. Ken and Barbie? In 1990s, I think. So right after the, the big wall comes down and uh, M Mattel gets in there. Well, <laughs> what do you think of uh, Barbie? I mean, is this something, uh, girls, uh, is it a fad or is this just uh, big in America, you think? Because I don't see anybody buying them. Tetra. Uh, can you uh, can you repeat uh, one more time the question? I asked you, what do you think of about Barbie dolls? Do you think girls uh, from the former Soviet Union it's something popular, or do you think it's just an Americano thing? Uh, I think they were pretty uh, popular, and uh, maybe uh, the main difference uh, was uh, in their quality, because uh, Soviet uh, Union dolls uh, were not so elegant, maybe so fragile. <laughs> like, were they pretty? Uh, yeah, mm, no, they were pretty, but uh, mm, maybe uh, Barbies, they have like a, a skin, uh, oh, no, not skin, but... Uh, Как будет внешность? Appearance. Ah, appear uh, yes, they appearance. have uh, more pretty appearance, like a model appearance. Uh. I, I noticed that Barbie always has makeup on. You know, I, I think they should tone down the makeup. I notice every year she has more makeup on. And uh, you know, now it's uh, sometimes very, in some countries I think it's very popular even uh, or elder girls, uh, they are trying to be like Barbies. They oh, are no. making, they they are making lips. They are making uh, some uh, cheeks. Uh, and then they are breasts like Barbies had, and they wear is a special style. 
Actually, there, there's a girl from Ukraine. She wanted to look like a Barbie doll. Does anyone remember her? <laughs> Do we know? Does everyone know what I'm talking about? The crazy cuckoo girl that uh, wanted to look like a Barbie doll. I only see uh, he, she, she on the picture. <laughs> she looks like a. I thought it was a Barbie doll. What did you think? It's awful. <laughs> <laughs> Who's this? I like that. Why would someone want to look like a Barbie doll? Do they want to look plastic? <laughs> What's wrong with this person? No comment. No. Nobody knows. <laughs> Nobody knows. Yeah. I'm, just, I'm just asking. She was from Ukraine and people were like, uh, so that's how Ukrainian girls look like. Well, no, no, no. That's just one. Uh, so there was a mistake there. Uh, it was invented by Ruth Handler, the Barbie doll. Mm. Too, too blonde. Too blonde for me. Uh, aha. How did, does anyone, everyone, did they have a Polaroid instant picture to make pictures? Photo. Polaroid. Does everyone remember Polaroid? Yes. Yeah. Who had a Polaroid camera? I has. I had. Ah, you ah. have? <laughs> yes, I have. And you still uh, when... have. Still use it. <laughs> no, no. It was a mistake I had. Uh, what I happened think to now it? We, we don't uh, use it because we don't have a cassette for, for, uh, for this uh, Polaroid photo. Yes? The cassette, yeah. Okay. When was Polaroid? When did it come out in Ukraine? I, I, I'm guessing 1991 too. Or yes, <laughs> everything came to us in 1991. All right. So uh, when was it popular? Till because I heard Polaroid was wow. People were like, oh my god, like, bullshit, bullshit. Like look a at miracle. <laughs> Sorry. Like a miracle. Uh, like a miracle. But there were. Disadvantages of using Polaroid. Does anyone remember the disadvantages? This, this, uh, do people, Tetra, do you, do you still have Polaroid images, or are they, are they gone? Gone. Um, they disappear. Yeah. Aha! Yeah. I heard they all disappeared. Yeah. What happened? There are ghosts in it. So yeah, you Polaroid. I don't think they make the film anymore. I, I don't think it's even even available. So that was he was it was invented by Edwin Hubert Land, another American. Right? Some Canadians in here, <laughs> uh, somewhere, like Alexander Graham Bell. Uh, who has a microwave oven? A lot of Ukrainians still don't believe in using a microwave. I don't like a microwave. Who has a microwave here? First of all. I use it. I use it every day. Could you live without a micro microwave? Without microwave, yes, we can. But it's very con comfortable. It's very convenient to. Well, how many people actually cook using the microwave? Because uh, that could be a different story. It, you do use it just to heat up or to cook? Yes, for heat up. Just only for heat up. For heating up. For heating up. Yes. I think it's great I have to, for, for heating it up. Who else has one? Tetrana, what, what do you do with your microwave? What do you, what do you put in there? Coffee? Uh, no, I also use it for heating some soups, <laughs> some dishes. I heard, though, it takes the energy out of the food. Does, does anyone, did anyone hear about that? Yes, I didn't use Is that why you don't use it? Because it takes the energy out? Yeah. Mm, I it's nonsense, I think. Ah, uh, how is it so fast? What is it? Uh, a, a miracle uh, machine? It's it's a nuclear machine. Yeah. <laughs> it's a <laughs> made in Chernobyl. No, no, okay. Uh, but you know, it's uh, a lot of people like in America. You'll find microwaves everywhere, but people use it to cook food, and I don't think it's good. I don't think it's good to cook cook with at all. Uh, microwave was invented by Piercy Spencer. Uh, people try to fix them, but uh, they get electrocuted so because of the high voltage. What about blue jeans? What, uh, I heard blue, blue jeans back in the eight. No, no one wore blue. Were there blue jeans back in the 1980s? Did anyone wear those? 19, yes. 80s. We blue jeans. You mean blue jeans? 
А Pants. это варё, варёнки, да? Pants? Pants, jeans, jeans. Yes, yes, yes. Nine, ni 1980s. 1980s. Hmm. So that's, that's when you first saw them or when they, I mean, I guess they became popular? They became popular in 1980s in Russia, I know. So All right. Um, all right, and Levi's. Is, is, I guess Levi's. Levi's is a, is a popular brand, is it? Yes, Levi's, Montana. Wrangler. Wrangler, yeah. But they, it's very expensive in Ukraine. Mm -hmm. Yes. Not, not only in Ukraine. Thousand dollars, maybe. One, <laughs> well, uh, two hundred dollars. No, no, no. Two hundred dollars. One hundred dollars. But uh, the salary was one hundred dollar. <laughs> so I see usually maybe for six hundred grivna some jeans. I, I think that's too expensive. Who who would pay a hundred dollars for jeans? Me. Oh. Me. Me too. Why? <laughs> <laughs> it's normal cost. Because it is in they're in fashion. That's why. In fashion. It's, yeah. made in a, it's made in a Chinese sweatshop. How is that in fashion? Oh, <laughs> no. Why, why do people wear jeans now that have holes in them? They have more holes in, in them than Swiss cheese. I think a mouse got in there. <laughs> jeans is very comfortable because you needn't uh, iron them. I agree. Yeah, yeah. I, I know some people who iron their jeans, but that's, that's another another issue. But I don't. I mean, the jean style has changed over the years. But I don't know. I see a lot of people now. They have a lot of holes in their jeans, and I think I thought they were poor people at first. But the second thought, they said it's a new trend. So, and it's not Levi's anyway. So, but Levi's very expensive in Ukraine compared to Canada. Uh, but and guess who it was invented by? Levi Stratus. Yes. Huh? In Russian, in Russian, Levi Strauss. Strauss. <laughs> Levi Strauss. <laughs> Strauss, yeah, really. Yeah. We no. said like that, <laughs> Levi Strauss. But uh, um, in fact, it's true, Levi Strauss. Yeah. No. Le Levi's. Levi. Levi's. Levi's. Levi. Levi. Levi is the first name. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, Strauss. I, I'm thinking ostrich. Are you Russian? Are you Russian? <laughs> Your babushka Russian. <laughs> uh, who drives the car here, anyone? Who drives I, the machine? I drove, but now I don't drive. Cruise control. Did you ever use cruise control? Do you know what that is? We talked about this actually in last class when we were talking about machines. Mm, I never used it. No? No. It's, I, I don't know. It, I guess it's popular. People who are lazy and want to put their hands behind their head and press the cruise control so the car can go straight forward. I don't see the purpose of cruise control, really. Can anyone t uh, have their own opinion? Nobody? No. But everyone knows what it is, right? Did, no, did, did, did I this. don't know what it is. So you, you press the button on, on the, the, like usually on the steering wheel, and it goes at the same speed. Mm. It, it's a constant speed, the car goes. So whatever speed you're at, and you press the, the cruise control, it stays at that speed. So usually it's good for highways. Yes, I don't but know. It's not good for Ukrainian roads. <laughs> <laughs> no, not good for Ukrainian period. So it was made by Ralph Titor. All right. Uh, handheld games. Does everyone remember the, the guy who made Tetris? Does everyone remember Tetris? Yes, yes. Tamagotchi, Tetris. <laughs> Who was Tetris invented by? Does anyone know? No. No, we don't know. In Japan? No. A Russian, a Russian guy invented it. A Russian guy? A Russian guy invented Tetris. Oh. I forget his name. 
Vladimir something. But maybe he lives in Japan. <laughs> no, this was in the 80s. He invented Tetris and he wanted to make money. But guess what happened to him when he wanted to make money? He died. <laughs> no, they didn't kill him. Yes. <laughs> the, yeah, they killed him. <laughs> using Call of Duty, yes, no. Uh, they, <laughs> they, um, the, 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 the USSR said uh, they took it from him, the, 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 the design and everything like that, because he wanted to make money. Because in the USSR days, you, you weren't allowed to make profit off of something, right? As, as, as I see. So now he works for Microsoft. And Tetris is everywhere. It was on, uh, and it was actually based on Game Boy. Does everyone know what a Game Boy is? Have, have they heard about it? Nobody knows? Heard about what? Game Boy? Game Boy. No. Remember, does everyone know Nintendo? Oh. Yes, yes, Nintendo. It was the small version of that. And it was like great. I, I guess video games, uh, those small ones, weren't popular back in the day. Nobody had those. Maybe not. But I just thought, you know, sharing on the list. It, yeah, so it, the Game Boy was made by Gumpi Yokoi. Obviously a Japanese guy made it. You know, Japanese make a lot of stuff. So he created the Game Boy, Virtual Boy, Fancom, Metro series, I don't know, Misabuchi, blah, 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 blah. So he created, looks like he created a lot of things. And look, most of these inventors going through the list, they have invented a lot of stuff by the seams. Uh, Post-it notes. Who still uses Post-it notes? Post-it notes? I use... Uh, what is it? Post-it notes? Explain it. Oh, what's that? Post-it. Post-it notes. Post-it notes. Why do we still use this when we have computers to write notes? Because Maybe we haven't got uh, civilization. Civilization? <laughs> yes. What do you mean? Uh, civilization uh, didn't reach my country, my region. <laughs> Why uh, two days ago I uh, got a letter? What? I've got a letter, post posted note. A le an actual letter. Yeah. Letter, American pronunciation. <laughs> <laughs> but letter in English, it's. Uh, meaning in a the, uh, different meaning letter. Okay, but you're talking a letter. Okay, but it, you're saying it's not common to get a letter anymore. In yes. Canada, we send letters all the time to people. Okay, we used, we sent, we get. All right. So, post-it notes. I mean, usually put them. People put them on their computer. Where else could you put post-it notes? Could you repeat? Where else can you put post-it notes? Usually some people, well, most people, they put them on their computer monitor. Uh, yes, near the working table, on, on the walls, <laughs> near the working place. Oh, why, why even put it there when you'll probably forget about it? I I forget. I don't understand. If something needs to remind me, if it's something important, won't you, by putting it on your computer, forget about it? I don't know why. Why they use computers? For well, Miguel, what do you use? What do you use to write things down? Uh, I use. Um, uh, it, it's an electronic calendar. It's like Google Calendar, but uh, but. Uh, 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 sometimes I use Post-it uh, uh, when uh, I, I uh, write the short uh, message for, for me. It's uh, not uh, very important uh, things. <laughs> with all those nice colors? Yeah, what? Not with all those nice colors? <laughs> yes, yes. 
it, it's uh, I don't know why I use them, but uh, <laughs> if, if you have a post-it on, on the table, it's very simple to write it, uh, write the message for <laughs> for for you, yourself. Yes. Anybody else use post-it? Mary, Mary, you don't talk much. Are you there? Maybe I'm already asleep. <laughs> Mary, spit, spot, spot, spit, sleeping, no? No, no, I'm here. Ah! I, um, <laughs> Personals. <laughs> you scared me. I, I no, no. Post, it, post notes on my fridge sometimes. Do you look at your fridge often? Mm -hmm. yeah, very often. Very <laughs> often. <laughs> I skip the fridge. I the side of the fridge and never look at it. Like it's not there. Mary, how do you remember I, things? Do you do you have post-it? Do you have a calendar? Some people have a calendar on their wall. Uh, like I have a calendar and post-it notes because if I write in uh important things for me in in like, uh, on it on it on it yes on it. <laughs> so it was invented by a guy named Art Fry. Art Fry, uh, what's it say about him here? He he tried to bookmark something he couldn't. And again, all these guys, uh, 3M. Oh, it was 3M who made the the post-it. It's a registered trademark. You can't use it because it's uh, it's trademarked by 3M. So post-it was actually. Uh, I guess they had glue on it or uh, adhesive tape, and uh, 3M made a patent patent for it. So, like any big company, they like to take over and, and do their own thing with it. Uh, one other one. Uh, yes, okay, in Ukraine, where do you see, or in Russia, a drive-in theater? These are awesome. I like these things, a drive-in theater. Do they exist? No. I haven't seen one. <laughs> Do you know what I'm talking about, though? Um, uh, moving theaters, you you mean like a cinemas? A theater uh, outside. You drive with your car. You watch it inside your car. Ah, uh, I know. I have never seen. No. Mary, car. have you seen any of these? Mary, no, no, no. Tetra. No? No? I know uh, one uh, one of these uh, cinemas uh, in the was in the Kiev, but I uh, don't know what happened with them uh, with it uh, now. <laughs> oh no no, I I have already seen one in Sochi this year. I I see one. I saw you one must, uh, on Olympic Games. <laughs> yeah. Yes, in the, after Olympic Games. Uh, after, okay. <laughs> after Olympic Games. I saw one. I don't know. I mean, that was an American thing again, and it was really popular. I think it would be a great idea, because who wants to go to a movie theater next to an alcoholic? <laughs> you know, I, I, all, all the time I'm, I'm in the movie theater, I'm beside alcoholics for some reason. If you're in your car, an alcoholic can't go in your car unless the doors are open. So, and you can listen to the movie. Does anyone know how you listen to the movie? On the radio. Exactly. Should be a perfect idea. <laughs> Babushka can come around giving you popcorn. I like that idea. Perfect. <laughs> so, it was invented by, what was his name again? It was invented by Richard M. Holinship. Oh. So, it was, Ryman theaters were very popular back in the 50s. Really, very, very popular. Uh, in the cold, Russia, very cold, especially Siberia. <laughs> Too cold for me. In Ukraine, Kiev, it can, it can, it's not as bad, I don't think, as Siberia, but it can be very cold. Who, how, how do people keep warm? What do they wear to keep them warm in the winter time? Because I'm, there's a connection here I'm going to make. What do you use to keep warm? Mary, <laughs> to keep warm. Mary, you use uh, something, maybe the akaku shuba. Uh, fur coat. Fur coat. Fur coat. 
<laughs> real animal or fake animal? <laughs> and fur hat. And fur hat. What about your ears? What do what do you do for your ears? Fur hat. Fur hat for for our ears. You know, I seen in the Soviet movies like this that people have this this fur thing that goes around. What do you call this thing? It looks very warm. Shapka ushanka. <laughs> Well, that's what we need in Canada. Heck, we get a cold in Canada. But Ukrainian people, Russian people, you never hear, it's called earmuffs. Do you know what earmuffs are? Wait, I'll write it. No one ever heard about them. Mm. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Very popular, especially among teenagers. All right, so, I mean, I like that uh, that Soviet style, that, that hat, that, that's, uh, I think that's real musket or something like that. So ear musk was invented by Chester Greenwood. And it, it makes sense because nobody had a way to keep their ears warm. Uh, you would get frost bitten. Everyone knows what frost bitten is? Nobody? What is frost bitten? Someone tell me. Frost? Frost bitten. bitten. I don't know. How you know when your ears get cold, really, really cold, they, they're going to come off? Mm. Mm. They get red. They get very red. And they're so cold that they're going to come off. They, they feel like they're going to uh, freeze to death. We call it frostbitten. frostbitten. It's nerve damage. Oh, I, okay? Usually. I get uh-huh. Going back to the kitchen. Dishwasher. Ukrainian people don't like a dishwasher. I'm guaranteed the same in Russia. What what what's the story here? Dishwasher. I, I, I have a dishwasher, but I never use it. <laughs> That's the, why. Why don't you use it? I mean, uh, you're the first person I I I met that has a dishwasher. Why don't you use it? Uh, I, I don't have a lot of uh, dishes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, a lot of play. I can't pass it Dishes. 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 Yes. Dishes or plates, you can say. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yes. Mary. One cup, one fork, one plate. It's for me to uh, to. Uh, it's like a wash. It, it, yes, it, it is that. Wash up. Wash up. up. In the uh, uh, water of tap. Yes. On the tap. Mm-hmm. On the with tap. your hand. One it's dish you can hand do made. with your hand. <laughs> Handmade wash up. <laughs> In the shower. <laughs> Jerry, are you there? What do you think of a dishwasher? I know a lot of Ukrainian people. They they don't they have it if they go to America. They have it built in, but they don't use it. What do you think about dishwashers? Maybe Mary doesn't have one. No? I have a dishwasher, um, but but it's uh, but this uh, dishwasher it's uh, cool for for women and men because it's um, uh, it takes less time. Yes, what? Less, less time. Less of time. What? Uh, less time. Less time. Less, less time. Less time. Uh, I, I don't think they clean the dishes properly. That, that's my my opinion. Girls, uh, Tana, what do you think? You, you know, this is not my little thing here. What do you think? Oh. Do you agree? I think um, I like uh, to wash uh, dishes. It's like um, one of my hobby horses. Uh, <laughs> kind of my relaxation, yes. Washing <laughs> dishes? Yes, I can listen to the music and uh, I'm enjoying the process. So <laughs> <laughs> I don't admit dishwashers. Yeah, you know, no, I have to wash the dishes. You know, like I don't I don't like this job. I need I need to hire somebody. <laughs> it's not good, not good, not good. I see. I'm lazy. You know, coming from North America, we've become very lazy, and this is a big problem. 
People don't wash dishes. They just put it in a machine and it does it for them. I'm waiting for the device that washes people. <laughs> <laughs> the scrubologist. Uh, oh, here's a good one. Disposable diaper. Who remember when did Huggies come out? Don't please don't say 1991. <laughs> I remember. Um, my daughter was born in 1890, and uh, we were in Germany that time. Wait, 1999. 1999. Um, yeah. I thought you said 1890. That was, that was a long time ago. <laughs> uh, wait a bit. Wait a bit. Don't confuse me. Uh, 1989. 1989. Yeah. So she's in her 20s. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we were in Germany, and uh, uh, it's first time when I saw diapers there. What did you think? Big white thing. It looked like a big marshmallow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What did they use before that? I forget. What did they use back in the day in Ukraine and Russia, Belarus? What did they use in those countries? Uh, clothes. Clothes. Oh. Yeah. No Huggies, no Pampers. I remember all the commercials back in the day. I'm a big kid now. Look what I can do. So, uh, yeah, it was interesting. You know what I don't like, though? Uh, they have these pools, you know, where people can swim. And they get their kid with the diaper that, that goes in the pool. I don't like this. I'm not going in that water. I don't care how much chlorine you put. I'm not going in that water. And that's, I, I don't think kids should be going in the pool with their diaper on. That's I not never fair. saw, I never saw babies in diapers in the swimming pool. You got it. Have you been into America yet? <laughs> <laughs> there you go. So, uh, that's it. And, uh, car, oh yeah, I forgot who made, who made, who made, uh, disposable diapers? Mr. Hug, uh, Mr. Pampers, Mr. Uh, Huggins. <laughs> Mr. Huggies. Hey, Mr. Huggies. That would be a name. No, no, no. It was uh, Marion Donovan. And what does it say about Marion Donovan? Marion Donovan was a young mother in the past war baby boom area. She came from a family of inventors and inherited the inventing gene. So she was unhappy with the leaky cloth of diapers that had to be washed. She first invented a boater, plastic covering for clothes. So I guess she was an angry mother, and she said, "Ta-da! I'm gonna make the Pampers or the diapers." Very. Uh, she helped a lot of mothers. I'll say that. What about the uh, car windshield wipers? Car windshield. You know, they go like on to get the water on the car back and forth. Yeah. <laughs> now, on the Soviet vehicles, did they have those or not? Yes. Well, what do you say, wipers? Wipers, windshield wipers. Yes. Dvornik. So I, I think uh, so. You on the Soviet cars they had these, right? Yes. Yeah. Yes, they had. I mean, think about what they would do. When was it invented? Mary Anderson, so a woman invented this, was granted to her patent for window cleaning service in 1903. Her invention could clean snow, rain, or select or sleet. I don't know what sleet is. It m might be like hard water from a windshield by using a handle in s inside the car. So think about it. What would happen if we never had a windshield on a car? What could happen? A lot of crashes maybe could can happen. Well, there's lots of crashes now, but you know, other, other <laughs> reasons. So, hey, every time it rains, in, in, yeah, I, everyone has to put them on. Except the Mashutka bus driver. That guy, he, he drives in the rain. Nastanovika, <laughs> Prashalista. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. How could we translate Mashutka in English? Oh, yeah. <laughs> the, in Canada, how do you call Mashutka? We don't have Mashutka. No, no, no. <laughs> Auto bus, you know, is like big, you know, like uh, big bus. Minibus? Minibus, maybe. Minibus. The first time I saw a Mashutka bus, <laughs> I, I thought it was from Back to the Future with Michael J. Fox. Maybe, maybe it's the first time you bent so low. 
Bend, it, because you need to bend. Bend? Yeah. What do you mean? Bend left, bend right. Oh, yeah, it's it's like a need for speed. I feel like I'm in a movie, you know, uh, it, it, like an action thriller, right? You know, you're Tom Cruise in Mission Impossible. You're on a, on, on a Mashutka bus. Let's see how long you last. Uh, the, first time, the first time I saw a Mashutka bus, I thought it was from the Soviet area because it looked old. But my, my wife said, no, 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 no. In the Soviet area, they had other type of buses. So this was this was new for me. I, this is I was scared to go on at first. It was something very strange. So this is my experience. Anyways, any questions for me, Mikhail uh, here, Mike here? Is there any questions? Does anyone have any questions for me? Have you ever seen Marshrutka with twenty five person instead of thirteen? <laughs> All the time. I feel like a McDonald's Big Mac. I think it's a safety issue. <laughs> That's crazy. That's crazy. Anyways, uh, you know, I wish I went through a little bit of more Canadian ventures. You have to do that on your own because there are a lot of Canadian inventions. I don't know. Maybe Alexander Graham Bell was one of the, maybe the greatest because without him, we would probably not have a cell phone today. You know, that's the main communication tool that we use with their voices. So, everyone, I hope you enjoyed the lesson. If you want to see more of my lessons, please uh, look through the schedule. I'll be adding more lessons soon on various topics. And uh, I'll see everyone next time. Thank you very much. Right. Okay, thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye.